Hi, today I want to show you how to uh, create a kind of uh, map with your photos. I call it this uh, photo story. Basically, uh, your photos will be uh, placed on the Google map with the path showing uh, from uh, location to location and uh, if you if I click on one of the photo you will see the location information here and the date and uh, if I click on the path here and it will show you all the location with the date uh, where from where to where to the whole story is uh, uh, basically if you are on holiday then you travel from one place to the other and it's showing uh, like a path on the map on the Google map uh, February 2014 I've created a video uh, showing how to use Picasa to upload photos to Google map and share the map and not long after that uh, uh, Google has stopped uh, uh, support the feature and uh, Picasa closed down and uh, uh, 2006 I have created another video showing how to upload GPS photos to Flickr and to share the map to friends uh, if you come back to Flickr you might have noticed uh, it's no longer looks like in my video what I can't find here is the uh, more and where I could select the map what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm not going to use the map uh, in Flickr but uh, I still use the photos which I have uploaded to Flickr then I'm going to uh, create a map on Google map so the idea is uh, I need the information from my Flickr account so for for this video you need to uh, you need a Flickr account to upload your photos and you need the Google account to create a map so uh, if I go to Flickr here and go to albums I've already created some albums here and uh, let's go to this album I'm not going to show you how to upload the uh, photos with GPS information to Flickr uh, I will give you the link to my old videos today I'm going to uh, use the Flickr photo to uh, generate a file and then import to Google Map so uh, this is my album and uh, this is my uh, Flickr ID and this is my uh, album ID so what I have created is the, I created a script uh, this is the link I will go put it into the description uh, I also created the alias to this link I call it uh, tiny.cc photo story if you come to this website you will see that's the, my old video upload photos to Flickr map and this is a very old one the 2014 one this is uh, upload uh, photos to Google map uh, in for this purpose you don't need to watch this one but it's good to know if you want to watch I always encourage people to watch my videos thank you for, for in advance and this one uh, you you have to watch it and ha you know how to upload the photos with the GPS information uh, otherwise you won't get the right uh, information so in on my website here I've created a, a form you have to enter some information uh, as you can see here this is a Flickr link example and here you have to enter the Flickr user ID and here is the album ID okay now let's try it I grab this uh, album ID paste it here and now the user ID here okay now and here you can select the path the color of the path and the preferred language uh, on the Flickr 
album it already has the location information like the name of the area but uh, er everything is in English and but in my script I try to also grab the information from Google map and Google map provide uh, the location f uh, in different language for ex because uh, as you know Google map know the address and in each country they have their uh, address in their own language as well so I, I, what I'm doing is this is the Thai, Taiwan album uh, and uh, it's uh, I, I prefer I can select uh, prefer language Chinese traditional Google will provide uh, me the uh, location information in Chinese uh, after all, all these fields are filled I can click on submit it takes some time to generate a file after a while uh, you will see that uh, there's a pop-up uh, comes out and uh, asks you to save the file the file has the album name here and the album ID uh, I just I simply save it in the TMP directory and it's a KML file now uh, if you want you can have a look into the file and it's just a, a simple text file and it's self-explanatory uh, you c some of them you can manually modify like the description and this is all the GPS information of your photos uh, uh, the next step we have to go to Google map and uh, you need a Google account and log in the, your Google account go to Google map and go to menu here uh, your places and maps here on the right hand side here I've got some maps already and see your all your maps click on here and click create a new map now this is a blank map click on import here and it's saying upload a file now we need to go back to the f uh, KML file and drag and drop to this box okay now it's done and you can see here is Taiwan and all my photos are placed in that location and uh, the I need to give it my map a name so I call it Taiwan one tree. I can put description here as well. So then uh, now I got the map here. Here is the preview. I can click on the preview here. So this is my the preview of my map. I can zoom in, zoom out, click on one of the photo, and you can see the location name and the date of the photo. And the photo is here. I can click on the photo and it show the large size at the moment I can't zoom it or maybe I can fix this later I don't know what actually the problem is uh, so now you you can see we got a map here uh, the next thing is I want to show you how to share it uh, so one more thing I want to show you is the map is created uh, 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 on your Google account so basically if you go to your Google Drive you will see there's a new file created okay you can see it here this is a new file just created one thing I want to show you is that was actually not a good idea to call my uh, map name with the year uh, I just simply call it Taiwan because uh, I will show you why uh, because the import doesn't actually import the m uh, map data it's importing the 
data of a layer. So uh, I can show you in another example if I go back to to map here and uh, I've got Japan and China. So if I go to China here so you can see a China there is uh, some uh, travel route of my China trip here. Uh, this is uh, this was 2012, and I've I've been there uh, in another year as well. So what I can do is go to add layer, and you will see here there's an import again. I go to import and come back to my. KML file. I've already created a, a one called China 14, 2014, and drop it here. So now you can see this is the different layer of the map. This is a. Uh, I can uh, switch this off. This is the 2012, and now the path is gone, and I can hide the uh, photos of 2012 and this is the 2014 and you can see the part is green here and I can show the other one as well back is not no longer hidden so basically you can do uh, many layers on one uh, map and that's the reason uh, the script I created allowed you to select different color for your path uh, just in case they, the path are overlapping so you can see clearly different colors uh, the other interesting is uh, because this is uh, saved on your Google account if you have an Android phone uh, you will see the map on your Android phone as well now I'm going to show you on my phone